Well, here goes nothing. Come on, ditch, decide my fate. Oh boy. Ross decided he wanted to break something. It's over there on the bench. I can see it from here. Ross decided he wanted to break something. So I gotta fix this. I got 15 minutes. I gotta help him fix it or help him get it figured out where he can fix it. <sighs> Ross, come on. You broke it. I told him don't break anything today, not break something. And he broke something, of course. Go fix So I got this pulled up for him to get him by for a little bit. Ross is then going to shut the battery off on the tractor. Use this fancy dancy welder no. down here. No, I'm going to go shut the battery off on the tractor, go eat lunch, and then use that fancy dancy welder down there. Use that fancy dancy welder down there after he shuts off the battery power on the tractor. And eats lunch. And eats lunch. And then is going to weld all this back together and hopefully it'll work right. We can get a new piece of this ordered or a new uh, section here. Get it brought in and then I mean, hopefully also rebuild it. We can have it fixed. Just take the, take the cut off real, cut it. Yeah. If you want to go through the time to do that, then do it. I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for that today. I ain't yeah. Got stuff to do. Yeah, we all got stuff to do, so get after it. Pitter patter. Get at her. All right, now you don't even have time to walk down this ladder the proper way. You gotta jump. You need your you need your screwdriver first. <laughs> well, how's it going today, guys? Uh, haven't been filming much today, I know, again. But Ross had a little bit of a breakdown this morning. Helped him with that for a little bit. So you'll be able to see, you've already seen that. But you get my point. Anyways, uh, me and Xavier are up here at Robinson Springs, about to move down towards Russellville. Hopefully I can get one of my friends up here to help me move and then we'll get moved to Russellville and uh, that way we're a little bit closer to home so that we can get everything else moved back home again to start going south. And then eventually we'll go up to Emerson, which is north of the farm. That'll, we'll probably end up doing that on like a Saturday or something. So then that way we can go ahead and get it all done. Uh, they're still up there cutting beans from the sound of it. Uh, Dad had some issues with his combine, had an engine gearbox thing go out of some sort, so they've been working on it all day. Um, he switched over to cutting beans and cut a little bit this morning and then broke that, so now we are working on getting all this finished up up here so that we can get moved around. Xavier's getting ready to go over to Heathville. Just got done explaining to him where it was kind of on the maps and uh, explaining to him the fields and the boundaries and all that stuff so that he gets a better understanding of it. So I just got finished up over here at Duncanville. Got my square pretty well cleaned out. Now I gotta go back to uh, Kersey's, which is about 10, 15 minutes away. Go over there, finish that up. I got a little bit more to do there. I got my sprayer pretty well emptied out, enough to where the Simazine or the Simitrol or whatever it is that we're using won't hurt the beans or won't hurt the corn next year. So, or the beans next year. Duh. So, and then that way we can uh, grow a pretty good crop and not have to worry about it getting affected by it. So, hopefully, we can get, get the rest of this done, finished up, and then. Head over to uh, Russellville. I think we got a little bit we can spray over there at Russellville though, so we'll, I'll have to check on that. But I'm not sure what my dad is wanting to put the high ground on, if he's wanting to put it on uh, beans or corn or whatever, so we'll have to find out. Heading out, moving down to Russellville. Uh, I left the lights on on this, so then we had Texas sky ball, basically. Man, them things are bright. Need brighter ones. But we're moving down to Russellville. 
right now we're working on it it's only me and xavier so we kind of got a hip-hop machines it only takes about 15 minutes to get there in a truck so it ain't that bad i can't tell if he's hung up or what but we're gonna get going so well as you can see we made it to robinson today or not to robinson to russellville why does everywhere have to start with an r that makes it so confusing and you can also tell by how much room there is between my cooler and my seat who has been sitting in my truck xavier besides that there's like three grain bins up here that came with this farm when we bought it and they don't work anymore so or they probably could they just need a little bit of tlc so now we are going to go home for the night and hopefully get some rest because i am pretty tired so it is like 11 uh, basically 12 o'clock right now so yeah i probably get go ought to get going home how is everyone doing on this fine thursday morning currently is 8 24 a.m and we are in a tractor uh, going to spread fertilizer on this fine morning so this is my last load of dap is what i'm spreading but then i'm gonna switch over to potash so i can get down down where i've been spreading at yeah where it's been yesterday so uh all you could go down there with his chisel plow and uh, start uh, working uh, the corn or corn ground, corn on corn ground. Then I'll go to our other places first where we're gonna have corn on corn, spread that first to just keep ahead of Augie so he can, so I'll have uh, stuff to chisel. So uh, no, I won't get behind on that. So that's what we'll be doing today. So uh, back here at the farm now, spreading uh, dap on our wheat ground. We'd normally do that before we plant it, but we didn't have any before then, so uh, I'm doing it now. Because as you can tell, the wheat's kind of coming up. And yeah, Alex over here, he's trying to get his drone ready. He's having drone problems. He's going to get a drone shot <laughs> me spreading. But that's what we're doing. I'm trying to empty it out so I can uh, switch over fertilizer. And as you can tell, I got. No. Got to put it in park. It's in neutral, so it's beeping in me. So we're gonna ship that over to the park. And now, now we're gonna wait here until he gets his drone to fly, and then we're back on it again. We'll get out of here and see what's going on. What's going on? Calibrating. being a piece of junk right now I mean I he couldn't have done this at any other time but but now We just got up here, we're getting going, or I did at least. Xavier's been up here for a little bit. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of raining a little bit. Not a big deal, as long as it's not raining too much, it won't wash the chemical away before it gets to settle in. So uh, the rain should be done here pretty soon, so hopefully we can get a little bit done before it starts raining again. So, you get the idea. So we uh, got the fertilizer switched over to potash. This is the first load of it. I'm gonna spread this first load out to see how far I got it, or how close I am for being like uh, spot on. I'm putting the right amount on. Cause the uh, dab I was having problems with setting the, getting the gate and set stuff. But you go in here, I'll show you my screen and what everything means. On. So yeah, this right here, that, show, that shows me how much total product 
should be back there, but most times not always right. Then you got, that's the charge of the bin when I first start. And then you got that there. That's how much it's actually putting on. That's how much it should be because all this is matte based because we have a, uh, Visor, crop advisor come out and survey our ground and see what kind see how much uh, fertilizer or, or see if it even needs any fertilizer at all and then uh, how much it should how much it should need on that specific spot they go through and make all maps for all our fields and then I well, see why it's not doing anything because it's black because this spot doesn't need any so we're gonna appear we'll slow down we'll come on and we'll go over here that's how much that's how much I've spread it so far between dap and potash and I mean my total pounds I've done and that's how many acres in total I've done right now this potash really hasn't been it's not it doesn't really meet, need that much potash for our mat so this one so this full load back here should get all this done which is like uh, 400 and some acres 426 acres. No, uh, uh, well, it's not that. That's how many acres that's better. But yeah, all this should get all this. Got my map. I'll go up so far. This is my master. So when I turn around, when I go to turn around, it doesn't, uh, like, because uh, it would turn on right there. So it doesn't turn on, I'll get sad, slow down. Hit my auto steer button. Make sure I turn on my master because I have a problem with the. Uh, excuse me. Of, uh, when I go to turn around and stuff with my hands, I forget to turn on my master. So and then you got to turn all the way back around, get lined back up to turn on to start going again. But uh, pretty much what I've been doing today. In case you couldn't tell, um, I have to start the Mac just to make sure that the uh, battery doesn't die on it. Just make sure we're good because we're running both water trucks off. Them. Off of this one's battery instead of running them one on one like what we normally do, but we're together so we can go ahead and do that. Makes it easier. Well, we just got up here to uh, Russellville. Augie's gonna help me move my sprayer over to Bridgeport. He's going to uh, put the tires in here in a minute. Maybe. The front tread adjust goes in easy, and then the back ones, for some reason, they don't always want to go in very easy. But they go in eventually, you just kind of got to fiddle with it a little bit. Uh, I love doing it because I create less of a rut on the in the fields, and it's a lot smoother, I think. And it doesn't like uh, twist as much, the sprayer, a lot more stable. So, all he's going to get going here, I'm going to go to Bridgeport and pick him up here soon. I gotta go look down here at the bottom of this hill and see if Xavier can spray this or not. Oh, I hate this farm. Oh well, I gotta spray it. But anyways, there's like, I don't know how many acres here, but we're, we gotta do all this. We're over at Bridgeport now. Um, I'm gonna go back and spray the backfield because I know I can get that done with what I got in the tank. 
and I'm half empty and it'll make it easier to get across the sewer. I'll show you guys the sewer here in a minute. It's not the greatest sewer. So we're gonna get across that. We're gonna go get that done. Uh, or we'll get a little bit of this field done and then Xavier's on his way up here, but here's the tricky part up here, all through there. There's a bunch of terraces and ditches and everything else. So of course it makes it a headache, but there ain't nothing you can do about it. It's good ground, so whatever. Well, I don't even know what I was thinking whenever I told you in the first place that this is a sewer because it's not. I just remembered I told you it was a sewer. It's more of a crossing, just a ditch crossing. So hopefully we can make it across. Uh, I think I should check that first. I think I should get out and check that. It's probably a good idea. And then I'll call dad and see if this is where they went across to with the combine because it's pretty steep on one side. And here on the other side, here on the other side, yeah, see it's all just a bunch of rocks. Goes down through there and then back up that side. Oh boy, you can see where Ross went through it ages ago. Oh no, it's solid. We'll be good. It's just getting up this embankment here but we'll get it you got this girl you got this well here goes nothing come on ditch decide my fate oh boy oh boy oh no oh no oh crap come on come on oh yeah made her ha came right out the other side no problem now it's just getting back across it here in a minute. All right, let's unfold and get this field done. Cause I wanna go home. How is everyone doing on this fine Friday night? Currently, it's 7.27 and we are spread for the last one. Okay, so now it won't be sprayer videos, it'll be fertilizer videos. But uh, yeah, we're spreading now. And uh, it's nighttime, so it's a bit difficult to, difficult to, we're going with it. A little bit difficult to see, because it's kind of, we don't have a light back there and the glare and stuff off the spreader stuff. It's kind of harder, harder, yeah. harder to see, to see if I'm still spreading or not. So I'll go a couple rounds, get out and check. I'll key, I'll, so i uh, make sure, because it, this one, it, this will say I'm out, but uh, that's not always right back there because if there's a gate back there on the spreader, we got to try to get it as close. As, we try to get it as close as we can to being on, so it'll go by the, the screen, so we can get it close to the screen. But uh, sometimes it just doesn't work like that. We do it the best we can. So uh, it's pretty nice doing this. Just do that. I got my. I got my. Use auto steer on this one. I'll do my. And uh, on my sprayer, I couldn't really use auto steer that much, just for the first year. So I just come over, hit this button. See, then I got my master already on, so it doesn't overspread. But we're gonna have to go around this. But so we'll come up here, turn, go back around it, and as we loop back around, we'll come over here, hit the auto steer button, and it'll put us right back on our track for us. Throttle up and again but uh, yeah this is my yeah I have total so far since I've been doing it since like Monday or so I spread uh, a thousand acres which I've done dabbing potash on one of them and by total I spread six or almost 200,000 pounds of fertilizer no matter a few days but uh, so I've been getting at it but I do have a and I got a there will be a special, I will be having a special guest on here. It's one of my buddies, farmer, and uh, we're going to get some get some video of that. The, uh, should be the next clip. Well, now we got to go back across it the other way, which is honestly worse than going across it, going into this field. This is, may I remind you, this is like the only way to get in and out of this field. In and or, holy crap. Woo. Come on, honey. You got it. Oh, that one pulled a little bit hard that way. 
That isn't as bad. All right. Now let's go see if Xavier's up here waiting on us or not. Well, anyways, guys, we made it home. We're, uh, you'll see more of what we do over in Bridgeport in the next video. I think Ron's coming in the morning, too, so you'll get to see him, too. Anyways, uh, remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Tell us what you think about the video. You know, yada, yada, yada. Hope you had a good time. Hope you enjoyed the video. And... See you in the next video.